physical obedience brings spiritual release. God requires a physical action for your breakthrough. James 4 verse 10, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. The spiritual release will open up many doors for you and give you a breakthrough in many areas of life. And I'm just going to mention five of them quickly. Favor. When you humble yourself before the Lord, he will give you favor in the company of other people. When you choose to submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ in your life, the help of the Holy Spirit will give you counsel, guide you and lead you. When you call on the name of the Lord, he will be there to protect you. When you lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. And when you sow your seed, you will be blessed. Those are a few things we can go on and mention them. But I, I want to come back to this James chapter 4, verse 10, humble yourself before the Lord. One of the ways we humble ourselves is when we lift up our hands in total surrender before God. The king of Amalek, he was attacking the Israelites. Exodus chapter 17, verse 11, Moses acted in obedience and total surrender to the Lord, lifted up his hands. And as Moses lifted up his hands in total surrender to the Lord, Amalek was being defeated. But when Moses' arms grew heavy and tired and he put his arms down, Amalek started winning. So very quickly he called for Joshua and Caleb, who came and held up his arms. And, and as his arms were lifted up in, an, in a position of surrender, in a position of, I'm trusting you, Lord God, Amalek got defeated. And I believe that God wants to give you victory against the things that you are fighting against the Amalek, against the giants that you face, against the valleys that you're in. Let me say, an action is not a feeling. An action is not an emotion. An action is, is an obedient physical posture. You say, well, help me with this. Get onto your knees. There's a physical posture. And as you submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, he will reign and rule in your life and he will give you the victory. Another physical posture, another physical obedient position is keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't look at the things around you. You know, Psalms 24 verse 3 and 4 says, Who can come to the mountain of the Lord but he who has clean hands, a pure heart, a soul not lifted up to an idol, and a tongue that does not speak deceit. As you choose to be physically obedient to the Lord, in keeping your vision, in keeping your work and your walk pure, and your motivation right before the Lord, and keeping your tongue controlled and restrained, the Lord will bless the works of your hands and cause you to prosper. Amalek will fall you will have the victory. Let me pray with you. Father God, we call on you in Jesus' name. I call on you right now, Holy Spirit, to come in power, to come and touch your child. Father, we are not our own. We belong to you. I belong to you, Lord God. My body belongs to you. My spirit belongs to you. My soul, my mind, my will, and my emotions, they belong to you. And Father God, I'm going to make an action to be physically obedient in every area of my life. And I choose not to give the enemy an open door. Father, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord God, for opening the doors where the enemy has come in. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you will come and touch the person watching this YouTube clip. I pray, Lord God, that you come and meet their needs right now. But as they choose in their heart, to humble themselves before you, the great King. You will lift them up. As they choose in their heart to seek you first as a physical act of obedience, seeking you first, you then, Lord God, will meet all their needs and all these things will follow after them. I thank you, Father, that we can learn and at the same time, we can reap the reward. I thank you, Father God, that you will commission angels to go out in front of your children. Go out behind your children and around your children. Hem them in, Lord God, with your presence. Cover them, Lord God. You are their banner. I thank you, Father, for great victory that will come and great release that will come this day and this week because of their physical obedience to you. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.